Hey everybody, it's Roger, and uh, I'm bringing you story time. And um, right now my computer is messed up, so I have to. Uh, I've been using Vegas, and so that's why I'm not doing the uh, the video. I had this awesome idea for my video that I was gonna do. So right now, as long as I can figure it out, I'm sticking with the fire. But next story time, I'll have an awesome video for you. Um, yeah, this is COD 4. So, anyway, this story is an old one. This is an oldie. Um, this happened, I think, when I was in, like, ninth or 10th grade. No, it had to have been at least 10th grade, maybe 11th grade. So, that's around the time that it happened. Um, it happened at band practice, like, way back in the day. Um, when just barely starting out being in a band and uh, like not even really being in a band because we pretty much just kind of got together and just kind of messed around while holding instruments like we didn't actually write anything really but anyway we were suffering from a really bad case of ADD at this time which you know was pretty common so we we do that for a little while, and you know we we get try try to play, and Tyler who that's whose house we are having band practice at he had a uh, a potato gun, you know, and if for some reason you don't know what a potato gun is, it's uh just like a piece of PVC pipe that uh you shove potatoes down and then you put hairspray or some other kind of thing in it and you ignite it and it sh it'll sh launch a potato gun out like really far so if if done correctly like they're they're a ton of fun um, I actually kinda wanna go use one now huh but anyway he had a potato gun and so we're all kinda just messing around and enjoying enjoying the time and um, our friend uh, Andy uh, we called him Gibble then he uh, he was playing with the potato gun and um, he was trying to just like shoot some ping pong balls out and was just just kind of failing at it what he was doing is he was shoving a t-shirt down in there and um, then would put ping pong balls on top of it and shoot them out and they would just kinda like come out and then just flop to the ground like they'd go like three feet it was it was pretty pathetic so we try that for a little while and I got a text message and uh... um... Oh, what was I saying? oh so he's doing that for a while and it's just pretty pathetic So we I kinda we I take a break from from playing for a bit and I go over and I was like maybe maybe this will work differently and so like we tried it one like another time and we we tried to shoot it at Mark and it it just failed like didn't go anywhere really so I was like let's give it let's give it one more try and so what my idea was was that I was going to um, put the t-shirt that we had in there much looser because he had it in there pretty tight you know with the idea being that the tighter it is you know the more pressure the farther it'll go so I was like well let's put it in there really loose so put it in there really loose and put eight ping pong balls in there and uh, and I was I was aiming it and Gibble was the one pulling the trigger, and I was like, well, let's, since it's, you know, going so short, let's aim a bit high, you know, let's try to hit Mark in the chest, and, uh, so we, we aim high, and Mark's off to the side just playing guitar, and so we aim high, and he fires, and it's just, whoosh, direct hit in the temple, like, these ping pong balls came shooting out at the speed of sound and hit Mark directly in the temple and it was pretty much in slow motion like 
his head just whipped to the side and his glasses flew off and he just kind of hung there for a second and then just collapsed just collapsed to the ground and <laughs> we're all like oh shit we just hold out we all just kind of freeze for a second and then I run over and I grab Mark see if he's okay he's still unconscious Tyler runs over and grabs the guitar off of him and uh like saves the guitar because that meant more to him and uh Gibble he was like is he is he dead and like a few seconds later Mark finally like becomes conscious again and he just goes what what happened what the hell happened my head hurts so bad uh, so anyway, that's how that happened, uh, you know, game's ending. Uh, he didn't really let that go for a while, and that's always been a running gag for the longest time. So, uh, anyway, story time. I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.